Hey friends, today we are gonna do some shopping for some Disney treasures. We're gonna be visiting some antique stores and thrift stores and flea markets close to Walt Disney World to see if we can find any special Disney treasures. Some of these places have some pretty rare props, some Disney Resort furniture, and just everything I love. Anywho's, let's go do this. My first stop of the day is going to be here at Forever Vintage and Surplus and I love coming here. They always have amazing Disney stuff. Some things that are super rare like this World of Disney uh, carpet that used to be in the World of Disney. When Disney does renovations on their resorts, they have countless amounts of extra surplus of things like beddings, pillows, and things that they just always had that they can put in the rooms. And then once they change it up a little bit, all of those things end up somewhere and they usually end up right here. If you have a favorite Disney World Resort, you can find the pillows, the blankets, and everything. Look at this. That is mind blowing, isn't it? They have a little bit of everything. They have the contemporary. These are the contemporary pillows. They've got the Grand Floridian, the Riviera. Look, I think these are the Riviera ones. They actually even have the Riviera right on them, I believe. And like just out, like countless amount of bedding. Down here are the Pirates of the Caribbean rooms again. Oh, they actually have the little artworks to show you every single one. Grand Floridian, Disney's Grand Floridian. What's this? Oh, Art of Animation. That's the Lion King room. Saratoga Springs, the Contemporary, and they're like $20 a piece. And there's so many, some of them are brand new. Brand new, never even used. Disney's Bay Lake Towers bed scarf, $40. Take a look at the Pirates of the Caribbean picture right here. These were in the pirate rooms at Caribbean Beach Resort, and that is so cool. It's even got Jack Sparrow on it. And I think it's selling for $325. This one's sold, but I know they have a lot of them because all of those rooms just got refurbished or refurbished. Take a look at these framed photos that were from the Grand Floridian bathrooms. And these are awesome because there's Alice in Wonderland and they're brand new. These were supposed to be put inside the Grand Floridian and they never made it there. And that is so awesome, $195. They also have Mary Poppins and I don't know if I see those here yet but that would be cool. And I just kind of like them because like I said, they're brand new. I love these Yacht Club Mickey lamps right here. These are always amazing because you got a little Mickey on there, but unfortunately a lot of them come with like a broken nose or a broken ears. And these ones are actually in pretty good condition. And these were all in the Yacht Club uh, rooms. So there's uh, quite a few of them out there and they're $295, but like I said, it's really hard to find them actually intact. And uh, I think they have a couple of them here and they were so awesome. Like it's Mickey and he's got a little Mickey. He's got a hit of Mickey on his Mickey head. Like I said, if you guys need any information like pricing on certain items that I'm not able to tell you the price on, or if you're asking about shipping, I'll put all the information in the description below. They do have a separate group where they'll actually ship out smaller items. And I think that's something special that a lot of places don't do. So like they'll post uh, pictures of items that they'll say, hey, if you wanna buy these online, we'll ship them out to you. And that's awesome, because then you don't have to come down here. This is actually only open on Saturdays. It's only like a weekend thing. You know how I like to go around and like flea market hunting or thrifting on the weekends and that's like this place, you know what I mean, only open on Saturdays, but you do, you have the option to actually get things shipped to you and I think that's really amazing. I got super excited about getting one of the blue stools from the blue room at the Wave. And take a look here, you can actually buy a whole dining room set. It has the table, it has the four chairs. This is all from the Wave. That is amazing. They have it individually marked, like the table's $55 and then the chairs are $45. But you can uh, have a little bit of the Wave at home. That's awesome. And then over here you have a lot of Polynesian resort furniture. And I like the Polynesian coffee table. That is super fancy. And this whole entire entertainment center back here, this is all from the Polynesian Suites. Look, there's a picture of it. That is massive though. $695 for this whole entire unit. They have tons of furniture, like things that you would be so shocked that it's actually here. Right here, I think these are from the Art of Animation. They are. These are the headboards for uh, the Little Mermaid Suites. $200. Oh, and they have the mirrors too. 
That is so cool. But like I said, just take a look at this. Tons and tons of furniture. These are from Pizza Fari. Pizza Fari, the little bug chairs. I think that is a bibbity, a bibbity bobbity boo, uh, like barber chair. Really awesome. When it comes to resort furniture or artwork, I love the things that you immediately look at it and you know that is from Disney or you know exactly where it's from. And I'm gonna show you my favorite thing here. And I wish I can get this because it would be so amazing, but I don't know how I would actually transport it home, but I love it. The Pop Century Mickey headboards. These are so cool. There's a couple of different Mickeys on here and they have little light fixtures inside them and they're just so amazing. I love these. I'm not too sure how much they're selling these for. Like I said, if you have any questions or if you wanna know how much anything is, just uh, reach out to them. They'll be able to tell you everything. And this is brand new in the box. Actually even tells you right here. Isn't it insane? Disney's Pop Century Room Rehab framed artwork and I love it. This was right above the bed. So cool. I know a lot of people like Port Orleans and here's a couple of artworks from the rooms and these are Princess and the Frog inspired artwork and these were in the Port Orleans rooms and you can actually see them right here, the characters. And these are only $75 and they're, they're very nice, very pretty. It reminds me of Port Orleans. I can actually just see Port Orleans because like that bridge right there. I'm, I'm hoping to actually get over there and check out that resort soon. I'm happy it reopened up. A lot of these things are actually stopped with the Disney Worldwide Shared Services logos and it gives you a bit of a description. Like for instance, this is the Port Orleans uh, Princess and the Frog pictures and it actually says Magnolia Bend and that's the section of it. And I love that. So it gives you a little bit of a certificate of authenticity on each of them. Very cool. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video so I can show you guys what I end up purchasing or leaving with to add to my collection. I always like to do that now just so I can bring you home and show you guys, hey, look, this is what I got. This is also something really awesome to point out. The shower curtains from some of my favorite resort rooms. Look at this. This is from the Cars uh, Suites at Art of Animation. This is a shower curtain. Like that is so awesome. They also have the Polynesian ones and they have the Lion King section of Art of Animation. I'm going to hang those up because I want to show you. These are so amazing. Like honestly, I love it. <laughs> I really, really do love these. I had to pull up the Lion King shower curtain now because I just think they're so awesome. Look at it's, it's Timon and Pumbaa actually showering. This is so awesome. I got to find out how much these are. And there's tons of them. Like they have so many shower curtains from all the different Disney resort rooms. These are all the Polynesian ones right here. I love it. Like this is so cool. Look at they have tons of them. This Animal Kingdom Lodge shower curtain has got to be one of my favorites because of all the hidden Mickeys on there. You see them all? And plus I just like it. It stands out. Ooh, the Yacht Club actually has hidden Mickeys on it as well. I didn't know that. That is really, really cool. The shower curtains are $60 a piece. And like I said, they have tons and tons of shower curtains from all the different resorts. I like the ones with characters on them. I think those are the like my favorite, but the Polynesian ones are, have a good design. And the same thing with the Animal Kingdom Lodge ones. I was trying to figure out what these uh, window curtains were that were next to the Polynesian shower curtains. And look at that, a little photo showing me that they are the window curtains from the Polynesian. They used to hang outside the balcony doors and these are really, really awesome. There's tons of them. That's really cool. I like that a lot actually. This is really cool. This is a big piece of art that actually used to be at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. These are really heavy and these used to be on the walls. Oh, look, you can actually see Rafiki holding Simba up right there. It's a circle of life. This is $295, but I love this. Actually, I never noticed Rafiki holding Simba up before. That's really, really cool. Walt Disney World salutes the Indianapolis 500 Festival, and that was from the Richard Petty driving experience that used to be at Magic Kingdom, and that is such a piece of history. Of course, it's no longer there, and right next to it, look at this aerial photo of downtown Disney, and this was actually like something I think that was a part of Walt Disney World, like Walt Disney World Company. It does say confidential right here. Look at that. It's a, this is not a bounding survey, and that is, that is so unique. I've never seen anything like that before. It's $595, it's massive and amazing. Oh yeah, see it's from the Walt Disney World Company survey and mapping department. 
Such a unique find right there. I am a sucker for old Disney art or old Disney photos and they have a lot of them here. Look at this one of all the different castles. This one is $325. Also, I like these because these are like vacation photos. Like I would see these like hanging probably in like a Disney vacation club center somewhere. Mickey with <laughs> the ferry boat, Pluto swimming. These are so cool. I don't know if they have any information on the back of them, but we'll take a look, see. Just says Mickey waving, Echo Art. They're $125 a piece, but this is some old vintage Disney right there, and I like it. They have a lot of Christmas decorations from the different resorts. I also like how they have little pictures showing you where they're from. This is from the Polynesian Resort. They had these gigantic wreaths there, $300, and they're pretty massive. Oh, and I always like to point out this in the background there. The Liberty Tree Tavern Daily News. That was inside the Liberty Tree Tavern. It's like a little uh, uh, post-it board. Communication is the key to success. Let me know in the comments if you guys see anything that you would consider a must-have, like something you have to get. I always find things here that I wouldn't find elsewhere, especially like the framed art. That stuff is super hard to come by, and this place usually always has a good rotation of amazing pictures, and uh, I like it. These are something that's pretty random, but pretty cool. These were in Animal Kingdom, and I would assume that these were for cast members. It says safety, uh, cedar schedules. So these are like schedule posters here. I really like cast member stuff like this because you get a little bit of a behind the scene look. You know what I mean? Celebrations. So this is probably just like an announcement like uh, board that they would hang the schedules and celebrations, culinary schedules. That is really awesome. Not too sure how much these are. Private dining schedules. I wouldn't mind one of these just for like a novelty. A couple more awesome pieces of art. They have Mickey and Minnie on a boat at the Yacht Club Resort. That is really awesome. And then I love this right here. Live Legend of the Lion King Disney Magic Kingdom. This was an attraction at Magic Kingdom. And I think right now Phil Hart Magic is where this was at. And this was an actual Lion King attraction in the Magic Kingdom and then got replaced uh, with the Ma uh, Mickey's Phil Hart Magic. And that is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything from Legend of the Lion King before. So it's really unique to see this here. I don't see a price on it either, so I'm not too sure how much it is. But, you know, I love extinct attractions. This is something really unique and cool. This looks like it might be a cast member award for Magic Bands from when they actually launched Magic Bands for the first time. So that might be one of the first Magic Bands. My Magic Plus taking the guest experience to the next level 2013 and that is so awesome. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before and it's kind of funny because we're in the same boat right now with Genie Plus. So like this is kind of like really relevant at the moment. The 2013 is when they were coming up with the My Magic and the My Disney Experience. And now look at us here like almost seven years later. I think that is so cool. That could be one of the first original Magic Bands from 2013. I love it. That is such an awesome thing. I love cast member like awards or plaques. Sad that I could never get one because I don't work for the company, but uh, you can always buy one because well, they end up in places like this. And I think that's amazing. I'm not too sure where these pillowcases are from, but I think it's really awesome because it's got Mickey and Goofy. Then it's got Cinderella Castle here in Florida. This is really awesome, and I've never seen it before. It is a pillowcase, though. I would guess maybe Fort Wilderness? I mean, I don't know because I don't know. It's very, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Oh, in the back, it does have compasses, too. So maybe Yacht Club? Here are a couple more amazing pieces from Disney. These look like they are from the Caribbean Beach Pirate Rooms. You got the chair and the table. And I like the pattern on the chair, but this right here kind of caught my fancy. This is a horse collar from uh, Fort Wilderness for $95. Like, isn't that mind blowing? I can't even believe it. And then down here, there's a Mickey and Minnie sink, like a brand new sink in the box. That's crazy, right? 
these are some of my favorite pieces in this store these are from the lobby of the yacht club and these are little cabinets and on this side they have just regular names like angela nancy kim but this set right here has mickey minnie donald daisy huey goofy and i think that's so awesome and since this was in the lobby these weren't in like every other room i think these two are the only ones and i don't think they open open i think they were just used for display or prop and that's kind of cool very unique here's a look at them in the yacht club yobby a lock club yobby <laughs> here is a look at them in the yacht club lobby and i think that's just so cool i like how they have photos to show you where everything was from like that actually makes things feel a little bit better i think if you buy it you should be able to keep the photo <laughs> so you could show your friends I have gotten several things from here in the past and I always love coming to see what new things they have. They honestly replenish all the time. Sometimes some things are always here because they have so much of it. Like I said, that's the surplus, like behind Forever Vintage and Surplus. But they get so many new items and I'm always shocked because I always find something where I'm like, oh, that's amazing. These are actually really cool and nifty, and I'm not too sure where they're from. This one says 1998 for Disney's Animal Kingdom, and then this one is the Flowers and Trees, first color cartoon from 1932, and I would say it has something to do with Animal Kingdom. We'll try to pull out the back and see if there's anything written on it, because sometimes that's where you'll find all the information. No, nothing. Just says AK 1998, but this was somewhere on Disney property, and I'm not too sure where. I also appreciate all the metal shelving that they have in here that have the hidden Mickeys on them. They have a lot of it. Like they have this one, this one, and these all actually are used to display the items. I don't know if they're for sale or not, but these were actually in Disney. So these were probably Disney merchandise shelvings and I think they're just really awesome. Now I think we're gonna take off and go check out some other places. If you need any information, like I said, I'll put it all in the description. And this location is just about uh, 30, maybe 35 minutes from the parks themselves. So this is a little bit closer than like say the Lakeland Antique Mall or some other places that I usually visit. And it's only open on Saturdays, like I said, but you could always get stuff online and they'll ship it to you. But I'll put all the information. You can you know follow up with them if you want. Now we're going to hop to one of my other favorite spots, and this one is right here on 192 in Kissimmee, the Character Corner Disney Collectibles. They buy, sell, and trade, and this is about maybe 5-10 minutes away from the parks, and they have some really cool items in here. A lot of Disney pin trading. They're very well known for all the pins they have. They have super rare pins. This place has a lot of Disney merchandise and toys and things throughout the years. And it's really cool because if you're missing something from like 1990 or 1980 even, uh, you can probably find some of the items here. And I just love seeing all the history. And like I said before, there are so many pins in here. First thing that I noticed that is pretty awesome is this collection of the world's first Disney stamps. Isn't that cool? These are the first Disney stamps ever made. And you got all the characters in there. Donald, Goofy, you got Pete, you got uh, Scrooge, you got Scrooge McDuck in there. And uh, Walt right at the top there. And it looks like he's got the Jungle Book as the background. And it's really awesome actually. It's really well framed. It's only $69.99. And on the back it comes with a certificate of authenticity right there. That lets you know all the information about it. That is so cool. Official legal tender postage stamp issued uh, in San Marino, released on December 22nd, 1970. That is really awesome. The thing I like about this store is that they buy, sell, and trade. So they get a lot of cast members that are coming in and selling some of their private collection and people that hold on to things for years. So you can find a lot of nifty things here lots of old school disney toys like i love the mickey shelf right here you can kind of just see mickey throughout the years and just evolving do you know what i mean like isn't that so crazy we'll start off like right here and you can just see how the character or mickey changed he went from this to like something like that and some of this stuff isn't disney itself but it's old and i love it like even the seven doors right here they just kind of like amazing. 
take a look at this right here a Walt Disney orange bird yo-yo this is so amazing professionally model with extra thick string extra thick string have a nice day this is really cool how to operate your yo-yo this is this is really awesome I don't know when this was from I mean I would say maybe the 80s maybe I don't know but I love it $49.99 this is really unique I started walking over here and I noticed some topiaries laying on the ground here and take a look at that it's goofy it looks like they're in rough condition but they're still pretty amazing oh and we got Mickey right here as well he's under the table with Pluto look at that wow that is so crazy I have never seen these out and about I don't want to touch them because they look like they're fragile but maybe they can restore these I think that is really awesome also what is this is this a goofy statue <laughs> there's a bunch of really nifty things up here we got the goofy statue the Mickey statue figment over here we got Pooh Bear down there so fun like you just find random things and barrels and buckets oh wow what is this seven doors mine train right here all lined up on a wood plank i said seven doors mine train that's funny but that is really awesome like i said i will put all the information in the description if you guys want to check any of this out and uh, you can buy anything that you wanted to uh some of the stuff isn't marked like price wise like the topiaries and stuff like that so you can always just call up and i'll show you the card before we leave too now i want to show you some of the cool pin collections that they got going on it actually looks like they're in the midst of expanding their pin collection they're going to be filling up these boards here and they have a lot and they have a lot of the uh, very limited edition ones that are like all framed up and i always like coming and just looking so if you're a pin collector this is probably one of the best places to come I also like how easy it is to find what you're looking for because most of them are actually labeled like Cinderella, Figment, Hidden Mickeys, Donald, uh, Bambi, and does that say Grateful Dead? <laughs> I believe it does. Wow. <laughs> Grateful Dead, Lion King, Aristocats, Haunted Mansion. See, all these are actually really awesome. See, I get excited over things that I just like. You know, I love the goof. And here's a pen from Storybook Circus. Fly with the great Goofini. <laughs> and I love it. This is really awesome. They keep all the good ones behind the glass in here. You can probably take a look-see and open it up a little bit. Ooh, I like this uh, 100 Years of Magic right here for the uh, Sorcerer's Hat at MGM Studios. This is actually really awesome. And of course, anything with Epcot. Look at that. These are so nifty. Oop, there's another one, Epcot Center, the Florida Project. That is very nifty. I know there's a lot of people out there that like snow globes, and these are actually really cool ones. They have the 25 year anniversary for Walt Disney World, and we just actually passed the 50th now. Then this one was from 2000. We've got some Tinkerbell and Snow White. Sorry, sometimes it gets a little blurry. And then take a look at these guys down here. You can definitely see a little wear and tear on them, but these are like lawn gnomes. And you got Donald, Goofy, Pluto, Mickey, and Minnie. That is really nifty. I like the way Donald's looking. Like, I always wonder, do you think these are best the way that they are? Or do you think they're better when they get restored and cleaned up? I kind of like seeing you know what I mean, age to certain things, especially older items. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, I always like to point out the magic bands in here because this is usually my go-to spot to find some of the older magic bands that sell out very quickly. Like they got the Captain Marvel, they've got the Run Disney ones, a couple more back here. Oh, Star Wars cast member one. This is for the opening team of Galaxy's Edge. That one is super awesome. And a couple more in the back here I see as well. Oh, the Rise of Skywalker and Aladdin. So it's nice to actually find those when you can. Also, a couple more statues showing a little age to them. I like Snow White right here. 
I know there's a lot of big fig collectors out there and I don't know if this is a big fig but I think it's really awesome because it's the Main Street Transportation Company and look at we got Goofy, Mickey, Pluto, Donald, Minnie all in the back that is so unique and it's big it's heavy how about this Disney's Animal Kingdom project team I like this jacket itself 1990 to 1998 creating the kingdom wow that is so awesome i don't know if anything's on the back i'll have to take a look see but this is really awesome it even has detail for the tree of life on the zipper they have a nice collection of mickey ears and these are from like all the different years actually they've got happy valentine's day down there at the bottom from 2006 happy easter 2006 and a couple of them are like really awesome condition the one that caught my attention though is right here take a look at this i like it just because of the box alone but tim burton's nightmare before christmas it comes in this fancy little box and take a look at those ears that is beautiful they light up i would assume and i love it i love the inside of the box too it's purple that's so fancy they're selling for 49.99 and <laughs> they sold brand new for 69.95 i like it just because of the box though here is most of the information and like i said i'll put more in the description below so you can check it out but yeah always give them a look and if you uh, want to sell anything or buy anything you can always uh, bring it here and they'll give you an offer it's also the christmas time and take a look at all the lights well it's halloween first but christmas is right around the corner and i love christmas season oh look at mickey right here that is really nifty happy holidays oh it gets me so excited i'm excited to actually do the christmas after hours event at disney i hope it's a lot better than the boo bash that was really neat. It's really fun showing off amazing things that I think I like. I hope a lot of people actually like it too. Honestly, I point out things in a store. Like obviously I can't show everything in a store, but I point out the things that I personally like and that I think maybe you guys would like too. And now it's time to go home and uh, I'm gonna show you what I ended up picking up today. Oh, Gracie. Oh, yes you are, what you're right out. What you doing, huh? What are you doing? Huh? And here is a couple of the newest additions. I ended up getting the My Magic cast member plaque. Well, I don't know if this is a plaque or an award. They gave it out to the launch team who actually uh, started working with the Magic Bands and the My Magic Plus, taking the guest experience to the next level. And then also I got myself the Orange Bird Yo-Yo because I thought this was so retro and so cool. I love even the way Walt Disney is written on there. And I didn't notice before, but they give you a bunch of Disney tricks like the Mickey around the corner, the Donald Duck over the falls, the Goofy Sleeper, and Walking Pluto. And I just love it. I mean, it's so cool and so nifty. So I had to get that. And also, I picked this up the other day, and I wanted to show you guys. This is my newest magic band for the Contemporary Resort. And I just like the box, too. You know what I mean? It's really nice. Look at Mickey on there. Limited edition, only 1,500 of these. So I'm happy I got it when I did. But with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. It was fun actually going out and hanging out at Forever Vintage. Uh, that is one of my favorite places to go to. The people that run it are such amazing people and I love talking to them and we share stories and it's always a good time. And also stopping down to the character corner, which honestly it's like kind of the one that's closest to my house. So I do go there a lot and I always like to just pop in and just see what new things they got because like I said people trade in stuff and they sell stuff so they constantly have new material and I always just like go browsing I actually do it sometimes without even my camera I do that like once a week actually so like I said I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye